many incorrectly assume that an MIM degree is an alternative to an MBA degree. There are some similarities between the two, but many differences as well. When it comes to the entry requirements, costs, program format, jobs and salaries. That's what we'll try to cover in this video. Masters in Management or MIM in short is a graduate degree in business and related specializations. It is also known by other names in different parts of the world. It takes young fresh undergraduates or recent professionals and gives them a formal introduction to the field of business management. Its approach to business education is more theoretical compared to the mainstream MBA degree. Though originally a European phenomenon, there has been a growing number of North American schools embracing this idea. The MIM degree is often a gateway into entry-level jobs in business management that require less experience. MIM courses offer specializations in business functions you might be interested in, such as marketing, consulting, or finance. It provides opportunities to study and work abroad, has a high demand among recruiters, is a fantastic networking opportunity given the faculty and industry exposure as part of the curriculum, and is designed to train its students to build enough momentum to start a promising management career. Unlike the MBA, MIM doesn't need its applicants to have work experience or substantial professional accomplishments to show for. Most MIM programs require students to have an undergraduate degree in any field. Typically, MIM students have less than two years of work experience. Like an MBA, it does require GMAT, GRE, or other standardized tests to evaluate applicants on a common baseline. English proficiency test scores such as TOEFL and IELTS are also needed to ensure international student class participation. MIM is a flexible program. While a considerable number of European business schools divide the curriculum into two years, covering the core, electives and specializations, some like HEC Paris offer the option to extend the time to include internships. There may also be some allotted time to get involved in research working closely with professionals in the field. A few MIM programs are also designed in a condensed format to be completed within one year. The years or semesters are dedicated to first laying a foundation for management sciences and other related concepts such as these. The second phase provides students with various specializations through electives. Depending on the B school, Many of these electives become part of either exchange programs or dual degrees that provide the added advantage of further global exposure. Foreign language is also a big part of the training that goes into the global experience. While getting a job is an important expectation for many MIM students, several choose to continue in the academic field. With the heavily research-oriented curriculum, students are trained towards thinking as potential researchers. Having said that, schools do incorporate real-world application training in the mix for employment. So internships can become a part of the MIM training, especially if the duration of the degree can accommodate one. Students have the option of taking up internship opportunities during the degree, or they are given a flexible option to opt for a gap year or semester for interning in one or many organizations and specializations, if they choose to do so. The hiring projections among MIM graduates look quite positive. Here's a snapshot from a recent survey. Though slightly subdued in the US as compared to the other continents, the trend is in the right direction. Larger companies with more than 1,000 employees are more likely to hire MIM graduates as compared to the smaller ones. Even startups are showing an increased interest in hiring MIM grads. Here's the industry-wise hiring scenario as per the survey. U.S. companies are less likely to offer internship positions to business master's students, including MIM. This is not surprising as Europe is the pioneering continent in master's in management. With the rest of the world now slowly realizing its value and playing a bit of catch-up. As with jobs, larger companies are more likely to offer internships and also more likely to hire interns for full-time positions. In any degree, the age and experience influences the job levels that grads are usually hired into. For instance, MBAs with experience are usually hired in mid-level positions. In comparison, the average age of MIM classes is about 22 years, and they usually have zero to less than a couple of years of work experience. Though MIM grads find entry-level positions 
they are often in reputable companies and with competitive salaries. According to the GMAC recruiter survey, the median starting salary of MBA grads is about one hundred and ten thousand dollars, whereas for MIM grads it's about ninety two thousand five hundred dollars. Of course, the salaries are dependent on the role and the industry, with consulting and finance typically being the highest payers. According to Financial Times Master in Management rankings, MIM graduates from the top business schools can fetch up to nearly one hundred and ten thousand dollars a year. MIM degrees have a significantly different list of P schools, topping the ranking charts as compared to MBA rankings. About 87% of the Financial Times top 100 rankings in MIM are European business schools. Less than 5% are North American, and over 7% are Asian. Have a look at some of the top masters in management programs in the world, their duration and tuition. Is an MIM degree worth it? It's good to have options that go beyond the glamorous but pricey management degrees like the MBA. Let's look at some pros and cons of the MIM degree. An MBA degree might be highly popular, but it also caters to the exclusive crowd of experienced professionals with outstanding achievements who are willing to shell out money for the heavy cost of attendance. In contrast, an MIM is cheaper, open to fresh undergraduates from any field and somewhat easier to finance. It is predominantly a theoretical understanding of the field with an option for real world training. It also saves you precious years by providing an accelerated learning program to help graduates get an edge early on in their careers. Most MIM programs don't face the usual steep competition that is synonymous with international MBA admissions. Let's look at the cons. The relative lack of work experience may also imply that students are not well prepared to make an informed choice about their career in business or business specialization. In contrast, many MBA students already have a specific post MBA goal, complete with specialization interest chalked out even before they begin the program. However, in MIM programs, as with most early career MBA programs as well, there's a significant chance of buyer's remorse when graduates realize that the degree is not for them. Unfortunately, the realization happens after having already committed the time and money, all because of the lack of career clarity at such an early stage in life. However, these pros and cons are very subjective. and it depends a lot on the candidate who is applying for MIM programs to decide what works and what does not it's also a good idea to explore other business masters programs like the master in finance master in accounting master of science in business analytics and more each has a specialized flavor that may speak to you more than the generalist approach for MIM essay reviews mba crystal ball is considered among the best mim application consultants Our top MIM essay consultants can help you improve your chances of getting into the best MIM programs in the world. Send us an email if you need professional help. Good luck.